from the east ward to the south, the north and the west, never competition because we all do it best. Newark is financially valuable. I would describe Newark as a place of, like the Jetsons, being innovative. Newark is artistic. Newark is fun. Newark is diverse. Newark is different. Newark is a great place to live. Third oldest city in America. Newark is a city on the upswing. Newark is growing. This is my community. I helped build it. So when I look at Newark, I look at Newark as being me. The changes I've witnessed in the last two and a half, three years in the city of Newark have been incredible. Uh, the economy is more vibrant, the streets are more crowded, there's more traffic. Um, what you see is a city that is finally getting to the point where the development is booming and it's having an impact throughout the city. Being a small business owner in Newark is exciting. Uh, Newark has a lot of positive changes going on right now, a lot of different programs and initiatives to help entrepreneurs. It's an exciting time to be an entrepreneur in Newark. Our focus is on investment properties, which is a huge inventory in the city of Newark. So that's working with uh, the mayor's initiatives with turning those investment properties into income producing, family uh, quality of life, properties. The goals of the Morris companies are to, one, work with the port. As you know, Newark has the second largest port in the United States, and that port is growing. Second goal is to employ the engine of employment for the city of Newark. And the third is to invest somewhere between $350 and $400 million in the city of Newark. So what I love about uh, Baraka's vision is that he understands how you marry development that is about the future that is also respectful about what is there and what is now. What everyone sort of really welcomed about his vision was his respect for the communities that are here and his desire to make sure that everything that gets built in Newark and every dollar that gets invested in Newark um, shows some, some promise, some outcome, some opportunity directly for the residents that are here. I was part of the Summer Youth Employment Program. Specifically for me, I did uh, like the place because overall it keeps uh, young people out from the streets, it keeps them busy. Currently I am a junior at North Star Academy and I plan to go to Temple University. Mayor Barocker's vision enhances the program because he's been a teacher, vice principal, principal, so education is something that he's very interested in. The purpose of New York Venture Partners uh, is to be a nationally recognized, best of breed venture capital firm with a place-based investing mission. So what we want to do in practice is to find great technology startups that are based anywhere and have them relocate to Newark, New Jersey, here to our co-working space. Um, and in doing that, we're going to invest capital, we're going to give our startups free space, and we're going to have our corporate uh, LPs like Audible, Amazon, Dun & Bradstreet, and Prudential support those companies as they grow. Port jobs are extremely important, but they're really only the tip of the iceberg. Ports are an important catalyst to thousands of jobs in transportation, logistics, and distribution. Uh, working with the mayor and the staff, we've begun to build bridges towards that exact point. So at Port Newark, we're investing over $500 million in the development of the port. You'll actually have the most modern port in the United, one of the most modern ports in the United States, and certainly the most modern port on the East Coast here in the city of Newark. When I came to Newark in 1986, I was working for one of, one of the airlines, and I came here as the director of operations. But I saw a lot was missing. You know, we still have a lot of, let's say, people living in the communities around the airport are not aware of the opportunities that you have within the aviation industry. Our goal is to make sure they are aware, get the word out.
We want to make sure that all Port Authority facilities and employers doing business at those facilities pay a minimum of $15 wage per hour with benefits to all employees. That are there. The mission for the Newark Career Training Center is to have young men and women come in and just prepare them for work. A lot of guys come in with no experience, so what we had to do was help them build a resume. Uh, we even guys that came straight home from jail and, and they would put, not put the correct thing down for, as far as experience. I'm an ex-offender, you know, and uh, I feel that as long as they give us an opportunity, you know, I feel that we deserve a you know, second chance at, uh, at life, you know, and, and that's what they're doing. They're giving us an opportunity to get out here, go back to work, you know, and, uh, and provide for our families. Thank you, Mayor Baraka, for giving me the opportunity to work for the city and progress myself. Uh, thank you for everything you've done for the city and for the people of the city and giving everybody opportunity to level up. The city is in a much safer place than it was. A reduction in violent crime, 10%. Overall crime, 13%. We reduced homicides down to 11%. I've been working with the Newark Clergy Patrol for the last two years. I was so touched by the speech that the mayor gave. He gave the clergy an assignment. He said, if you guys say who you are, then take the church outside the four walls. The clergy affairs unit within the public safety department gives us another platform as pastors. Now they're seeing me in a, in a, in a suit and it's like, pastor? And some people were afraid of police officers, but now when I'm looking like one of them or hanging out with them, now we're bridging that gap. And he's told the clergy, if you say what you say you are, get out there to the streets. And uh, he sure met us there, in the streets. Southwood, Westwood, what's going on? In CST, we are doing our thing out here. Violence is a public safety health issue. Since the street team has been active and, and, and on the streets, each of us has been in a situation where there were guns involved, there were shootings, involved and we were able to stop it. The mayors empowered the citizens who live in these communities to take a stand, be part of a public safety model, and uh, really take accountability and stake their own claim in the safety and you know well-being of their community. It shows how much the people care about the community and how much of an impact that Roz has on us. The plan was for every uh, 25 officers that were hired, we were supposed to hire one social worker, right? So. At this point, we should have at least four. He understands what Newark needs, and NCST is definitely something that Newark needs. That's so good good thank job. you. Good job. All right. All right. One, two, three, and that's it. One, two, three, and that's it. I see the city going under the mayor's leadership into being a city that all other cities will look at and say that I want to be just like that city. I want to have a city that's safe like city of Newark is. I want to have a community to raise my kids and to live, work, and play in a city like Newark. What's taking place at Newark Street Academy is needed for the condition of the city. There's a disconnection and a gap in the education system as far as dropout rate. And here it's different because you got street recruitment specialists who can give them that one-on-one -on -one, and then you got an academic specialist who is just like out of this world. All of these young people can see the world with a level of clarity that more privileged people can't see. And many of them start to see that world as a world that they can actually participate in. By the end of the program, you have young people looking at and thinking about ECC as a possible option thinking about a training program as an option, that's positive. Before the Street Academy, like, I was in the streets, and coming here, it just brought me back to a good environment where people love, care, and just appreciate me for what I do and who I am, and that just helps me a lot, encourages me as a person. And it put me on the right path to being a a good, successful person in society. I wanted to be a better role model for my son. My plans for the future are to be a construction worker and not just any construction worker, I want to be the boss. The city is still got love. It's still like, it's, it's, it's a building process. We getting there. I love North. There's so much passion 
that creatives have around their work, especially in cities that sometimes don't get the shine that they deserve, and Newark is shining. There are so many people here that are doing amazing things, whether they're a gallerist or a filmmaker or visual artist, performing artist, and I'm just excited to be in that mix as the world starts watching to see what Newark is doing. And I just think creatives have to leave that charge. It has to be from the ground up, people powered. It can't just be looking to the leaders to say like, what will they do for us? It's like, what can we do to make the environment better and make creativity flourish? Born, raised, and grazed in the city of Newark. Art have given me the ability to stand and go to places where no one knows me and to be able to show the skills to show, to grow, to flourish, to stand tall, create it and celebrate it in this place that we all call home, which is new art. And then that's when I get the hometown proud that, yeah, this is Newark style. My name is Dr. Jerry Gant, the ghetto optometrist, third eye specialist, front teeth, gold teeth, or provocateur, kicking in the doors of oppression. And the first lesson is that is love. That's what peppers this thing that we call art, something that can't be stopped. It is inside of all of us, inside of you, 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 and you too. One love from the city of Newark. I don't care what hood you from, what neighborhood you live in, I expect you to do incredible things because I know you can. Boo, boo. Then we can talk about being American. Then, then we can, then, then we can listen. When you look in the mirror, when you see yourself. You see God, you got the opportunity to do so many incredible things, and I expect it of you.